Hi, I'm Malcolm Latham from Aris and I'm going to talk to you about our range of Android TV capable set-top boxes. So you're launching here very powerful 15,000 DMIPS. This is a, the whole family of yeah, we it's offer, got a really we powerful offer, chipset. We offer a range of different chipsets in the device starting with a 7K DMIPS with 2B2 Wi-Fi going up to a 15K DMIPS with 4B4 Wi-Fi. And uh, we start with an IP only box, could be capable of IPTV or OTT. We then have the ability to add on a, a module underneath to support DVB, whether that is uh, DVB-C for cable, satellite or terrestrial TV. Uh, and then we also have a disc, for, uh, an option of a disc this for DVR. For DVR? DVR, PVR, so ability, you know, recording content so on the set top. Yes, we have a hard drive in there. And uh, uh, this is running uh, Android TV. This is running uh, and Android TV. Yeah, this is running operator tier. So this is a version of Android that uh, Google allows service providers, uh, pay TV companies, to have their own unique user interface. So when you start the set-top box on and your initial experience on the TV is, uh, is the particular experience of that particular service provider. It's still familiar, right? So is it a, is it a real Google-licensed Android TV? Or it's just Android? It's the functionality of, of uh, Android TV. I say, the, if you like, the home screen, uh, known as a launcher, is, is specific to the service provider. And there's a and Google it, Play? Yes, they get the familiar features of uh, Android TV, whether that's YouTube or to the, uh, the Play Store as Netflix well. Netflix 4K, Amazon Prime 4K, all that, is that possible? That's possible, yes, through the App, through the app Store. And what we are showing here is a range of user interfaces that are available through third-party companies, through some of our, our partners. So, so we how have much available. user interface customization are they allowed to do? They, st they still have to stay within uh, some kind of, it has to be user-friendly, they can't do too much? Yeah, there are some guidelines uh, that Google uh, provide. Um, and there are certain things in terms of where YouTube and uh, Google Play Store appear and how they're presented. But generally, the service provider does have the flexibility to create something that is unique to them and to uh, to their specific customers. And if you have one of those like this that has a tuner, yes. are you able to do picture in picture on top of the Android TV experience? Well, it'll take you into. So it, it, that then really comes down to the individual user, user interface. And it's, it could be just an app that you click on and then you get the picture in picture or you do stuff in the Android well, TV. Well, it's not really an app per se. It is actually the initial experience, if you like, the overall experience of the screen that uh, the customers uh, would see. And Android TV can control and manage the DVR? Yeah, well this is one of the added values that, uh, that Aris brings to the solution. So um, Android out of the box doesn't support those features. So we integrate the software stacks required for DVB functionality. Um, we provide a secure bootloader, for example, uh, and we put together the, you know, the complete solution. So it is ready to go and deployable by the service provider and we help them do the ongoing support required as well. And you help them get certified by Netflix to get 4K and Amazon and yes, we can so everything we can is help ready. them with that. Yes. So there is there is a set of prescribed tests that we have to go through in order to be certified by Google like similar with Netflix and we help the service provider do all of that. But once you get the design, the box certified, then it doesn't matter which customer you get, they will all be able to get that access. So each one you have to certify again for each the, Well, customer. yes, because in many ways the ind there is an individual like build integration that's done for the individual customer and we would go through the test suite in order to go and make sure that it complies with Google's requirements. So where's Aris based? And uh, are you the leader in the set-top box industry? Are you the number one? Yeah, it would depend on how you measure, measure, measure the market. But yes, we are a very major player in the industry. We are global. Uh, we support, uh, you know, we are a major player in North America, across, uh, across Europe uh, and the world. Our new in centers. IP, and that includes IP uh, providers cable operators and satellite operators as well. All right, and it's super stable, right? It's everything you do just works. Uh, People have it running yes. for 10 years, right? Yes, we have some very old boxes out there, and obviously we'd like them to uh, have newer ones, but uh, yes, we, uh, we have been around a long time. We have a very 
uh, a track record of delivering very stable, reliable products that, uh, that meet our customers, which is the service providers, needs. Are these ready for 4K, HDR, 60? Yes, they're all. HEVC? Yep, they, uh, they're all 4K, uh, they are HDR. So whether that is uh, HDR10, HLG, Dolby Vision, um, Wi-Fi connected, uh, which is something that we're seeing increasingly asked for uh, by our customers for ease of installation. And it's it's really going up, but the content is coming now. 4K HDR. There's yes. going to be there's yeah. going to be some H HLG support. That you everything will work. Yes. So.